Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. So today I'm going to be doing a video entry for the Patriot 1776 project. Stay tuned. So the person that I am nominating as a hero falling under Patriot in the Dark's uh, definition will be Paul Revere. Um, if you do not know who he is, I would hope that you do if you went to any sort of public school, or any school for that matter. But, uh, Paul Revere, um, is the one who famously said, you know, the British are coming, the British are coming. Um, but what makes him a hero? So, let's find out. Now, going by Patriot in the Dark's definition of a hero, which I honestly can't agree with anymore. Uh, I think it's a terrific definition. Um, I believe his words were an ordinary person who is faced with a extraordinary situation and uh, that extraordinary situation could even involve putting their life in peril to save somebody else. Um, I hope I paraphrase that well, but anyways. So, Paul Revere. Um, first off, he was a silversmith, uh, which back then, you know, pretty ordinary guy, you know. Um, blacksmith, silversmiths, uh, you know, people that worked with their hands and did things. Um, you know, I, I think that, like I said, qualifies him as an ordinary guy. Um, he took part in the Boston Tea Party. Um, he was... Uh, he was actually the principal rider, the main rider for Boston's Committee of Safety. Um, in that role, he's the one that actually came up with the idea of lighting lanterns um, to warn colonists that uh, you know the British or the Redcoats would be coming and invading when they did. Um, let's see. Where the frick's an off button? So if Paul Revere's ride was not successful, um, who knows how the battles of Lexington and Concord would have turned out. Those were the first battles of the American Revolution. Um, if he would have been caught, he surely would have been killed. Uh, you know, it, it would not have been a good situation. And if it wasn't for his ride and uh, selflessly putting himself in danger, uh, knowing that, you know, if he was caught, he was surely be dead and warning everybody, um, you know, maybe we'd be sitting here drinking tea and eating a spotted dick right now. Isn't that right, Rick? That's from Rick's life as you see it. Don't worry. Uh, he he'll get the joke. I I'm sure. Uh, I don't think he likes me. I, I bust his balls too much. Now I'm rambling about stuff that's not pertinent to the video. I'm sorry. Anyways. Um, so that's my pick is Paul Revere. Um, I think he's a true American hero that, uh, you know, if it wasn't for him, who knows how our country would have turned out. Um, but that can be said for a lot of people, um, in colonial times, uh, during the American revolution, uh, a lot of people to pick from. I chose Paul Revere. So please go over to Patreon of the Dark's channel, check out all of the submissions for the 1776 Patriot pro Project. Um, Patriot in the Dark is a hell of a dude. Um, I can't ever say enough about him. He is one of the big reasons that I have my YouTube channel, and I can't thank him enough, uh, for everything. Uh, just with everything that he's helped me with, with my, uh, visual impairments. Um, you know, I've still got a tiny bit of vision, and I rely heavily on it still. Um, but the resources and whatnot that he's given me, um, in just the last six months have been such a huge help. Uh, the guy's a great guy. Go over, check out his channel, check out this giveaway, um, show him some support, and uh, keep you guys finding your smoking. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all later.